ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एटी नाइन सी फिफ्टी वन और एटी फिफ्टी वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द लैंग्वेज वी आर यूजिंग इज द असेंबली लैंग्वेज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एंड क्लिक ऑन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट wait until the project opens up now we need to write serial com or any other name of our own choice then press next 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 and finish now our project window is opened now we need to take our 89 c51 microcontroller so this is our microcontroller let's make it a little bit zoom also take our virtual terminal or serial monitor so for it we need to go here and write virtual terminal rxd2 txt no need to connect the txt pin of the virtual terminal with the rxt of a controller because we just need to transmit serial data from microcontroller to the serial monitor also we need to set the crystal frequency yes it is very much important for us okay now we need to go towards our programming here first open your microvision keel file any file okay then click on project then new microvision project here we need to write serial com com u but it's okay uh, write any other name which you like here we need to write 89c51 and press okay yes and yes okay now it is created now we need to right click on source group 1 and click on add new item to group source group 1 we need to click on assembly.asm file and we will need to write the name of the file so we will write serial underscore 000 click on it again go to source group 1 and right click on it and add options for group 1 uh, okay and also right click on target 1 options for target 1 and check this create hex file okay now i will i need to write programming here so i already have written program so what about program we can see that our g00h is the starting line of our code it starts uh, uh, it, it initializes the program that the program is starting from 00 uh, point address then there is a serial communication control register in which we are supposed to put 50h in order to enable this register then t mode in t mode we need to write 20h move means that whatsoever on the right hand side must be entered or thrown into the uh, these registers these are the special function registers this is the timer mode so we have select 10 that is uh, timer 1 so you must for timer 1 selection you need to insert 20h then for baud rate 0 fth or minus 3 if you want to write in hexadecimal then you can write 0 fth and uh, if you just want to like uh, minus 3 hash minus 3 in decimal then again you can do it and it will start timer 1 then set bit timer 1 timer 1 starts up then move a comma hash and means that n character must be moved into the or sent to the accumulator register then a call trans a call trans means now our controller will move to the trans okay this trans is uh, this one what's called is the uh, this uh, tag or label or subroutine whatsoever you can say with the say, colon colon so this is subroutine so when control move come towards a call trans so it will move to this that is move s buff comma a 
so it is serial buffer register whatsoever is inside it 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 it, it, it is sent to the s buff that is serial register so one by one n e n l is uh, thrown to the uh, serial buffer register then clear ti that is this uh, clear ti is very essential you must have to do it yeah uh, it is for like i think uh, the stop bit so you need to clear it and then return this delays function is just for like to create some sort of time delay so you can uh, write it as is on no need to go into the complexity of this delay function it is just for time delay so that we can see properly okay a call delay like this here a call delay so this is delay okay now we need run it out uh, target one will target one will target it's compiled that is zero errors so we need to go we need to take the hex file objects it's right uh, like a serial commu it is the hex file dot hex you can see okay here you can see that our uh, string is being printed on the what's called as the serial uh, monitor or virtual terminal so hopefully you got this concept that how you can serially transmit data via AT51 so thanks for visiting our channel